This tea is called oolong. China oolong tea. I'm gonna show you. O O L O N G oolong. Sometimes you get that when you go to the Chinese restaurant. You're waiting for your food. Notice it's dry, tightly curled green tea leaves. Apparently, oolong is good for the metabolism. Very good for making your food go down and burn up. It raises your metabolism level. So you can digest food better and get less fat, I guess. So oolong, it does contain caffeine. It's a green tea. So the green teas are from the middle of the plant. The black teas are closer to the earth, so they draw in more nutrients. Hence, they have more caffeine. So black teas are closer to the roots and the ground of the earth. That's at the bottom of the plant. Green tea, the medium amount of caffeine is in the middle of the plant. It's very popular around the world, especially jasmine. I think jasmine is the most popular flavor of green tea in the world. And at the top of the plant, you have white tea, which is a very delicate flavor, and it's good for, like, acid reflux, acid indigestion, anything where you have a situation where gas or acid might be rising up into your throat, burning your esophagus. So, the reason why I'm showing you this is because what I plan to do, I want to show you that this, that this small amount right here can make a good amount of tea and I'm not only gonna use it once but I'm gonna use it twice I'm gonna actually make this container of tea here and then reuse those leaves they're gonna expand you don't need to use a whole lot of oolong tea because the leaves expand and if you get the real high grade oolong tea like that Taiwan roasted oolong or something like that those, those twig and roasted oolong teas, they'll run you about $20 a quarter pound, which is still a real good amount. That's a, a lot of amount. You, you'll be all right with a quarter pound or even less. All right, so, yeah, this water's going to boil in a second. Then I'll come back and show you the leaves after the tea has been made. I'll show you the leaves and throw them into the other cup. So now you know about oolong. There's many types, but you should look up oolong. <clears throat> oolong comes from the Chinese goddess Quan Yin. Quan Yin is known as the iron goddess of mercy. Now, I don't know the full legend word for word, but I'll tell you what little I can remember. There was a guy who used to clean up this temple. He used to sweep the temple steps all the time. And he was from a village in China at some period of history. I guess the Kung Fu history. And so he used to sweep this place up. But he was like real poor, I guess. And he used to clean the statue of Quan Yin, the Iron Goddess of Mercy. And... You know, I guess he was real poor, so he prayed to the goddess. He said, you know, I would like to know how I could get out of this poverty that I'm in. And apparently she materialized. And she told him, look at that plant that's outside at the front of the temple. You know, she pointed him in the direction of this plant. So he went to this plant and he said, what could I do with this little scraggly old dried up plant? What does the goddess mean? Like, pay attention to this plant. Anyway, he cleaned up around the roots, you know, dressed up the place, did his little manicure work on the earth, started watering the plant every day. Next thing you know, it turned into this... Uh-oh, the water's boiling. That's Quan Yin talking right there. So check it, right? So, um, he took care of the plant, nursed it back to health, and next thing you know, came to this rich, luxurious plant. They found out that this plant made a great and wonderful tea. So everybody in this guy's village started growing this plant. 
Next thing you know, that region of China became extremely wealthy from growing this plant that we know today as oolong. So Quan Yin, who's also known as, as one of the Bodhisattvas, you see uh, a divine being doesn't have to be male or female, it could be either or. And Quan Yin was one of the Bodhisattvas. A Bodhisattva, from the word Buddhi, intelligence, Sattva, one of the modes, which is the mode of goodness. Let me make sure this thing is sealed, hold on. Bodhisattva, mode of goodness, is a being who basically exists for the enlightenment of others. They become enlightened so that others may become enlightened. That's what a Bodhisattva is all about. Some of them, there'll be two people in the desert. The Bodhisattva is the one where two of them will find the oasis. One person will jump over and start eating all the fruits and drinking all the water and save their life. Both of them are at the point of death. They find the oasis in the desert. The Bodhisattva goes back into the desert to find other people who may be lost in the desert. This is what I do all the time. This is what many of my peers do. Many beings are born in this world to serve these kinds of purposes. So I'll be back in a few minutes to show you the conclusion of Oolong Tea.